Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany. And if this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, I usually focus on fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, fragrances, and pretty much whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that seems like something that you may be interested in, please think about clicking on that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, of course. Also, if you're already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that notification bell. I usually upload once or twice a week on Sundays and Thursdays, so I don't want you to miss a video. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about some things that I have been loving lately. We used to call these favorites videos, monthly faves. I mean, we're in May now, but these are things that I've been really loving, um, I would say for the past month or so. And I definitely wanted to come by and share these with you all. I tend to do these a lot during the spring and summer, so we're right on time. And yeah, so if you're interested in the things that I've been loving, then stick around. Okay, y'all, so I think I want to start off with some beauty items that I've been loving, specifically makeup items and this lip combo. I get so many questions on my lip combo, and I would say for the past two months at least, I've only been wearing like two lip combos, okay? And it's pretty much the same thing. The lipstick just changes. So first... My lip liners, so I use brown lip liners. My first brown lip liner is by NYX and it's in dark brown. This may actually be an eye pencil, but I use it as a lip liner and it's really inexpensive. You can get it at like Ulta, Target, whatever have you. And I really like this to start as my base, like to overline my lips because it is a cool tone brown. So it almost acts as like a contour, you know what I mean? Um, so if you're gonna overline your lips, you don't want something like super noticeable, I would say, um, even though this is pretty dark. So I like to go in with this first and I'm wearing this today. Then I go in with my lipstick. So when I'm doing like nudie brown colors, but I still want that like warm lip, warm glossy lip, I go in with the Pat McGrath 1995 lipstick. Now this is one of my favorites. This is the matte trance, I believe. Yeah, the matte trans line. And this is what this new lipstick looks like. So you can see it is like a nudie pink color, but um, it's a nude, you know? And you can see how that can translate on my skin tone. Super pretty, I'm wearing this today. I do have another one that I'll show y'all in a minute that I do love from them, but let's get into this lip combo. After I put that on, I'll go in with Chestnut by MAC. Now, if you've been following me for a little bit, you would know that I love Sephora's Molasses Lip Pencil, but it does not last. It's 12 bucks, not too bad, but it just doesn't last. Um, I just like how soft it is. But lately, I have been gravitating towards Old Faithful with which is Chestnut by MAC, and um, it's just their brown lip pencil, okay? So I put that on top just to blend kind of like everything together. And then on top of that, the best lip gloss hands down color, like um, formulation shine best. Rihanna, you did this. The Fenty Gloss Bomb, um, Fenty Glow. This is literally the best lip gloss I think I've ever had in my entire life because it gives you a little bit of color. It transforms the lip. It like melts everything together so perfectly. It makes your lips look nice and, you know, supple and sexy. Like, yeah. So that's the lip combo for today, <laughs> which I really do love. And like I said, um, sometimes I will change out the lipstick. So I also like the Pat McGrath Fembot. Now this is what I would consider to be more of a pink color not even a pink nude but you can you know wear it as a nude but this is more of a pink color so if i really want something to show up pink i'd wear this um and then i may not do a gloss or i may do a gloss or i may try to like tone that pink down with more of a milky you know lighter color gloss so it really just depends but these are like the nude combos i like but the other new combo that you guys have really been talking about same two lip pencils but this is the Sephora, y'all, I don't even know what this is called. I found this in an old handbag. Um, it is called the Rouge Lacquer. Rouge Lacquer. Girl, I'll find it and link it for y'all. But this is it. It is so beautiful. This is almost like a sheer, almost a sheer type of lipstick. It has a little bit of shine, but not as glossy as like a lip gloss. Y'all, anytime I want to go for like a cool tone nude color that's still bright, if that makes sense, this is what I go for. So if I'm wearing pinks or, 
like all black looks. I like to use this. Um, what other looks? The last two videos or the last few videos that I had when my hair was curly, I was wearing this. Okay. So love this. Um, I don't know how I forgot about it. I think I just discovered it like maybe a year or so ago and just bought it probably during like the Sephora sale or something. Used it at the time, forgot about it, left it in the bag and yeah, now I'm obsessed again. So yeah, that's the lip combo that I've been loving lately. But today, like I said, I'm wearing 1995 from Pat McGrath my two dark brown lip liners and the Fenty Gloss Balm in Glow or Fenty Glow. It's the best like you need. So I'll have all these linked down below for you guys because you guys have been asking about them. Moving on to some other makeup items. Um, I wanna mention the foundation that I've been wearing and loving. And I've been wearing this foundation for quite some time. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Now I used to get this in 12.5 or actually I was gifted 12.5 probably oh it's been three years now that's crazy um in 2019 i was gifted that i would wear that i liked it but i always felt like i needed to mix it now i'm only wearing this shade and i picked up 13 neutral um and i really like it so this is what i'm wearing today as you can see and i think it matches me really really well another thing that i like about this foundation is that um it does stay all day and night and I don't know if you guys know this, but I've mentioned it a few times. I don't set my foundation. I only set my concealer and I do use a contour or a bronzer, but I don't set the actual foundation with powder, okay? So I love the fact that this literally makes my skin look like skin, you know what I mean? Um, and I don't set any of my foundations, but I tend to go for this one more in the winter, spring, and then I'll pull out the Estee Lauder one. Um, I think that's called double wear yeah i'll pull that out in the summer when it's like baking you know what i mean because obviously i'm not setting it so i need to do something that's gonna be a little bit more matte but absolutely love this because it gives me like a really flawless finish um it just makes my skin look like butter okay absolutely love this one so i'm wearing 13 neutral now but i was wearing 12.5 neutral and i think this one is a better match keeping in line with makeup y'all i have been loving this gucci bronzer i did pick this up in the sephora sale um i was gonna try out the foundation but you know, I'm, my skin has been doing a lot on the chin area lately, like breaking out. So I didn't want to introduce too many things to my face, you know, at the same time. And I know I'd be tempted to do that. So I just picked up the bronzer just to see how I would like the quality of the products and, you know, just to see what I would how I would vibe with Gucci Beauty because this is my first product from them. And a lot of the times when these brands, um, these high-end designer brands come out with makeup, I don't know. I don't really vibe with it too well. I usually stick to my holy grails. Um, sometimes I just feel like they put that price tag on it and it's pretty and all of that, but it just doesn't do what it needs to do for me. But this bronzer I have been loving. Okay, this is in um, number five and this is what it looks like. So it is a reddish tone bronzer and it's gorgeous, y'all. So as you can see, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Um, I love that mint color there. So obviously you have a nice size mirror. You also have your product and then underneath it comes with a little brush for on the go, which is really cute. And it's just housed down here. Um, I don't use the brush because I use a bronzing brush, but I've actually been using this instead of contour. And at first I was a little nervous because I'm like, it's so red, but let me show y'all how that's looking. Like this is still giving to me. I know it, it is a reddish bronzer and it's, I think it's even more amplified because my hair is ginger today, but I love what this is doing. And this is gonna be so good for the summer. Every now and then I'll go in with my original contour and then put this on top just to like warm it up. But I've been loving like a warm bronzy like contour lately. So let me know what y'all are thinking. I don't use it on my nose because I just feel like it's too red for a nose contour, but on the cheeks, loving it. Okay. Absolutely loving this. So this was a really good buy. I am glad I got it during the Sephora sale, but 
I'll be re-upping on this, honey. I love it. Okay, next up, I want to talk about my lashes. Now, you guys always, always ask me about my lashes. And usually, I wear more of the spiky dramatic lashes, which I get so many compliments and questions on. But I would say for the last three months, I've been wearing the same brand of lashes, just a different style. And these are still by the Valicia lash brand. Um, and these are the natural soft ones. I'll link these in my Amazon store and put that down below for y'all because like I said, I usually wear Dubai and those are a little bit more spiky. These, they just say natural and soft, but I'll make sure to have the exact ones down there so you guys can check these out. They are what I've been wearing lately and they're just a lot more wispy. So just imagine a demi wispy on steroids times 10. So it's still very dramatic, but it's more fluffy and just just lush. Kind of reminds me of the Miami Lash from um, Lily Galici. So yeah, these are only $8 and you get like five sets in here. So I really love these. Love, love, love this brand. The band is like perfect. The only thing is I have to cut the ends um, because my eyes are too small for these. But I love these lashes. I will not be buying any other lashes. Like super high-end lashes. There's literally no point. And I just like how dramatic and like sexy and flirty they are. I get so many compliments on my lashes, y'all. Like these are so bomb. So loving these. I still like the Dubai as well. I'm probably going to switch back over to them because right now I'm wearing the last set of these from my old box. This is a brand new box that I just got. Um, so I may go back and forth, you know, with the little spiky ones that I like to wear. But right now I'm just liking how flirty these are. So yes, loving those. And I definitely wanted to put y'all on to a new one from that brand because that brand is like, clutch okay i also wanted to talk about new hair products that i've been using now this is a shampoo and conditioner i was actually sent this by the brand monday and y'all i mean it was in pr so i was just like you know i'll try it out on a wig i tried this out on one of my wigs that was a little tangled when i tell you the moisture okay the moisture that this provided in one of my units it was phenomenal like and then I started using it on my real hair I'm almost out of the conditioner but I still have about half of the bottle of the shampoo and it's so cute too it's just so cute but I absolutely love these um this is SLS free paraben free cruelty free and you get 12 fluid ounces in these really good I like the fact that they have a pump and this is the moisture line so they have different ones for different hair types but this is for moisture and it's for dry and damaged hair so I love this on my units and my natural hair y'all and to like comb out my natural hair it just makes it so easy because my hair tangles so bad when it's in its natural state like when it's wet but this makes it really easy this along with my tangle teaser that I use easy peasy so love these and I'm really shocked about it that's why I wanted to mention them because I'm not sure of the origin or anything of the brand but I did think that it would be a little bit more for you know, looser textured hair, but it's been working well for my hair. So loving these. Okay, so now we're gonna move into some body things like fragrances, uh, creams, and things like that. So first thing I wanna mention is this new Sol de Janeiro um, Beja Flor Elasta Cream. Okay, I got this during the Sephora sale, and when I tell you the smell of this, it's phenomenal. It smells like candy mixed with maybe baccarat i don't know y'all this smells edible it smells like honestly you know what it smells like it smells like a pink laffy taffy that's what it smells like this smells so good it's just so nice okay and i do like the original bum bum cream and i like the smell but the pink packaging is what got me and i had bought something else and didn't really care for it so i was like let me try this because it's pretty new um this is supposed to be good for elasticity, boosting body cream. Um, it's supposed to help you maintain balance and deeply moisturizing the skin. Now, when I put this on my skin, I only put this on today just to show y'all. So I'm not glistening and glowing how I normally am because I use my body butters and stuff. But I still like, I still feel like even with this, like it's not as deeply moisturizing as they say to me this works like a regular lotion you can buy from the store and i'm not talking about the nivea lotion 
Okay. I'm talking about something like, uh, the Vaseline lotion or, you know, the Jergens or something like that. Just a regular lotion because we all know Nivea is that girl. We're not going to play her like that. Um, but the scent alone is so good. And I have to mention it because I have fragrances here that I've been wearing on top of this and I've been loving. So I don't know if it's this that's doing it too, but y'all, this scent, they need to come out with this in a perfume because it's so good. Okay absolutely been loving the scent of this moisture eh, i'm gonna give it a five out of ten um i'm not ashy but i wouldn't just put this on my feet and go you know what i'm saying or my legs and go arms and go maybe body and go maybe when it comes to the legs the feet okay elbows i like those things to be shined and glistened and glowing so this is not that girl for that um but uh, everything else i just love about it like the packaging is nice the the consistency is really nice it's not oily um it smells absolutely amazing so i had to mention that real quick i won't say it's a favorite but i've definitely been wearing it out lately but now let's get into some fragrances that i have been wearing out lately okay the first one is my louis vuitton le jour c'est la vie y'all i've been loving this fragrance i mentioned this in my spring favorites um video if you haven't checked that out please check it out I put it in the cards up here but I've been in a real feminine mood lately okay just enjoying my life and my time <laughs> um and company but this fragrance is so good like I said I did receive this as a gift and it is just a beautiful feminine floral just um classy it's very elegant and when i'm in that mood like this really gives and i like to mix this a lot too just because i'm more of a gourmand type of girl sometimes even though I do go for the floral, you know, fresh scents. This is as fresh as I'm probably going to go other than Dylan Blue. And I don't reach for that as much. But to me, this is definitely a fresh floral and it's really pretty. Um, but it's just been so good. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on this. When you're just feeling sunny and beautiful, you go out for a Saturday brunch or Sunday brunch. This is really, really nice. So been wearing this out y'all. Like shockingly, you can see I put a dent into it already and I haven't had it that long. So usually it takes me a while to put a dent in my fragrances because you know, I have so many, but I love this so much. So check this one out at LV if you have not already. Really good. Next up is another one that I mentioned in my spring uh, fragrance video, which is the Donna Born in Roma. Now, if I'm so pressed to wear the LV um, fragrance, I will layer that on top of this for like nighttime or early date six, seven o'clock dinner. You know what I mean? Because you still want to be fresh from the day, but you still want to give a little sex appeal. This mixes well with that fresh floral because this is a warm floral. So it has like that um, Madagascar, I think it's vanilla in here. Just a really sexy, that girl, I'm probably going to wear this today. But the Le Jour on top of this, y'all, it's really, really nice. Like it gives effortless in my opinion, because I feel like the Le Jour C'est La Vie is definitely a daytime fragrance, but it's almost like you just came from work and you freshened up and now you're just super sexy, but you can tell you didn't go home, try to do all the things to impress. You know, you're just already that girl headed on to the date. So love this so much. Y'all know how I feel about this fragrance. It's one of my favorites and I've been gravitating towards this so much. Mixing it and not mixing it is still just everything. You need this. You need it. And it won't break the bank. Now this is the third fragrance that I'm mentioning that was also in my spring fragrance video. Like I really did that on the spring fragrances because I've really been wearing those out. Um, but this is Gentle Fluidity Gold. Now, I told y'all time and time again, I love this scent, but I love mixing it more than anything, okay? You guys know how they say Baccarat Rouge can be mixed with anything and everything. I totally agree. I used to do that. Baccarat is just one of those things that's kind of on my nerves right now, so I don't wear it as much anymore. But this I mix with any and everything except uh, the Donna Born in Roma because it's not necessary. That's already super warm. But these two perfect daytime sexy scent. Okay. Like I said, I've been pressed about this LV scent because it's so new and fresh for me. Um, and it's just something that I usually don't gravitate towards and I feel so pretty and feminine when I wear it. So when I still feel like I need a little old me in there, I throw on Gentle Fluidity Gold because it's just that warm, sweet, 
feminine vanilla um, that's kind of uplifted with like a cotton candy vibe in my opinion. So these pair really well together and I just love wearing these in the daytime. I don't usually wear these two at night together. Um, but yeah, daytime sexy, daytime fine, honey. These are really good. And yes, loving this one, okay? Loving. And here's my next fragrance. Now this is the Burberry Her. Now everybody and their mother has been telling me to get this fragrance for at least two years. I was just never impressed. One reason was because I heard it was similar to Baccarat and I really hate like, I don't know, Baccarat was like that thing for me. So I didn't want anything that was similar in the smell or anything like that. But I finally got this during the Sephora sale and y'all, it is so beautiful. It is a fresh feminine. It's not as strong as the um, Le Jour from LV, but it's also not potent, like, but it's sweeter too. Here's the thing. I'm quite disappointed in this. I don't know if I got the wrong one or not, but this does not last to me. Anytime I wear this, I end up throwing something else on top of it when I leave, okay? Now, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. These two together, bomb, bomb, okay? Also layering with this on the body as well, bomb. These two together, bomb. Like, I don't wear this alone, period. I try, and every time, I'm like, I don't smell anything. So I end up throwing something else on top, but I end up getting the compliments, and I end up feeling super nice, feminine, and just, just good, you know? So I have to mention these because I don't know if it's this that's doing it, if it's this that's doing it, if it's the combo or what, but this paired... Gentle Fluidity Gold, honey. Donna Point and Roma, Miss Girl. Also, our Sol de Janeiro, the new pink one, honey. And also, another new one for me that I can wear alone, but I love pairing the two together, is the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. Now, as you can see, I have put a major dent in this. I love this fragrance so much. It's not groundbreaking, but it's just sexy, feminine, and just... Another one of those like Donna Born and Romas, right? It's not groundbreaking though. So I really love, I really love wearing this. And I don't think I've mentioned this on my channel before. So I'm going to look up the notes for y'all because um, this is not a new fragrance, but I just picked this up randomly, maybe like two months ago and I've been loving it. It makes sense. I've never even looked up the notes on this y'all. This is why I like this. It's considered to be a warm and spicy uh, fragrance, warm and sweet gourmand. It has citrus, violet, and coffee. I love a coffee note, but this isn't like super, super coffee, right? I'm wearing this tonight actually. I'm actually wearing this tonight. Um, it says that the only one captures the essence of sophisticated and hypnotizing femininity. I could not agree more. I'm about to put this on right now because I don't have anything on today. Mm. This is so sexy, y'all. It's so beautiful. I love this scent so much. It is one of those understated sexy scents. And it's one of those where they're going to be nestled. They're going to get nestled in there. You know what I mean? In the neck. They're going to be nestled. So you definitely want to pick this one up. I know I'm super late. I also like that it has that fresh citrus note. You can really smell that when you first spray this. So it's still appropriate for daytime. This is one of those signature type scents in my opinion um, for me because I do like a gourmand, but it's not too heavy. It's just so nice. And as you can see, I've really been liking my designer fragrances lately. So you don't have to break the bank, you know, to smell amazing. And um, this one I think is only 29 bucks, but the full bottle is $78. So you really can't beat it. I think this one was like a hundred and something bucks, but still not like a niche fragrance where you're paying $300, you know, every time you get a bottle or 500 if you're going to Louis. So loving those. Okay. Loving mixing that Burberry Her with um this one like I said this uh gentle fluidity and this so absolutely stunning I just I love it so lastly I have another combo that you don't have to run out and get it but if you're not aware I need to put you on okay because when I tell you it's edible edible gourmand femininity in two bottles, okay? And these are the Kayali bottles. So I have the Kayali Vanilla, 
And then I also have the Kaoli Eden Juicy Apple. So before we get into this combo, let's talk about Eden Apple for a second. So I have been seeing this fragrance a lot on Instagram and TikTok, and I just wasn't impressed just by the notes alone. Um, being that it's called Juicy Apple, it's just like it's giving body splash. Um, I've also heard that it's compared to a body splash, like it doesn't last, all the things. Finally got my nose on this in the Sephora store, and they only had one left. So that means what all the girls are out here buying this fragrance and it was only this large size I would have never bought this size I would have always gotten this size um but I tried it on and I was just like yeah I see exactly what everybody's talking about totally giving I wouldn't say body splash but it's just not it's not groundbreaking and it's not amazing if you like fruity scents this is great for you, right? Um, if you like fruity scents, you like Kaoli, the, just the brand itself, I can understand it, but it's not something that you must have in your collection. You could probably get this at Bath and Body Works, something similar, um, or Victoria's Secret. But by the time I got up to the counter after letting this sit, it transformed a little bit on me and it was giving a little bit more depth than I had initially smelled because at first it was just juicy apple so i'm gonna read off the notes um on this to you guys okay so this is considered to be obviously a fruity floral it has juicy red apple wild berries and jasmine it's a playful vibrant and bursting um with attitude type of scent they say delicious scent is a tempting mouth-watering fusion of crisp juicy red apple sweet berries and fresh floral notes woven together in a bouquet of unapologetic happiness so i already mentioned the juicy red apple it also has black currant it has pink grapefruit in here it has lychee um it has raspberry blossom it has rose centifolia vanilla flower amber crystal sugared moss and sensual musk right so those other notes started to appear a little bit as i got to the counter and i was like it does have a lot more depth than i expected it was only one left so i was like why not i'll just go ahead and get it i probably wore it like two or three times just like random errands grocery store post office running to the mall nothing serious not when i'm trying to you know <laughs> cause chaos okay but one night okay one of my friends asked me to meet up for a little drink at happy hour and this is a scent that i wear like during the day like out of the shower i just like smelling sweet and nice at home and to me this is one that i can wear in the house and it doesn't get on my nerves because when i'm sitting in the house and i'm smelling something super strong i'm gonna be irritated with it i'm just like that um but this vanilla is something that i can wear all the time Y'all, I already had this on. I threw this on top. These two together, nestled. We're nestled again. He's nestled. He's nestled right up in here, right in your neck, darling. Okay, because this is so edible. So just like, that's gourmand. It is a gourmand, sexy, feminine is just so good okay like i was shocked i mean it's so simple apple vanilla all these things like but you know this is not just a typical vanilla in my opinion um this is a special vanilla to me and this because it did transform a little bit on my skin i don't know if it's just my my chemistry or what but y'all when i tell you the compliments i got on this fragrance everybody was like what do you what are you wearing like everybody was asking me what i was wearing and even people that just walked by they were like oh my goodness something smells so good and because i had gotten the compliments from the people around me i knew it was me because it was like that sweet smell that just radiates oh my goodness but let me tell you something men would love this on you we've already talked about the men okay they like simple things honey they want long straight hair sundresses and you to smell like juices and berries right this is that one this would be sexy to men this will have them nestled in your neck girl they will not be able to keep your they hands off you with this layering combo it's so simple but it just smells it makes my mouth water. It's that good, okay? So if you have these already, please try mixing them together and let me know what you think about this combo because it's giving, okay? It's giving. Um, it's just, just very effortless and sexy too. So pretty. Love these two together. 
Um, love wearing these two to bed, you know? But yeah, it's like, maybe because I was so underwhelmed with this, but then when I mix them together, it like blew me away. I don't know, maybe that's the reason, but I do remember like um, putting my clothes in the washer and I was like, what did I have on this day? Cause I had this dress on. I was like, what did I wear this day? Because I smelled amazing, okay? And yeah, it's just, it's so good. So love these two together. Please try these out if you already have them. I wouldn't say run out and go buy them. They're not super expensive, but it's not a must have in your collection. But girl, if you've been looking for something to do with Miss Eden, mix her with Kayali Vanilla because they knocked it out of the park with that combo or I did. Okay, so yeah, check that one out. You know, everything will be linked down below. Y'all know I get on a tangent when it's about these fragrances, girl, because I love smelling good. And I'm smelling amazing right now, but I'm already thinking of what I can mix with the one and only, okay? The only one, I'm sorry. <laughs> And since we're talking about fragrance, I thought I'd mention a couple of house fragrances and candles that I've been loving. The first one here is Ebony Wood. You can see, honey, she's used her all the way down. Miss Ebony Wood went viral, okay? She went viral all over TikTok, all over social media, YouTube, I mean, you name it, she was there. So everybody was asking me, have you tried Ebony Wood, the fragrance? And I was just like, I was in Zara, I smelled it probably three times and I just didn't love it. I did end up ordering it um, in a package when I ordered my last set of candles, um, but I still don't love it. It sits in my car. It's one of those fragrances I'll throw on if I absolutely need something. You know, if I've been going all day and I'm randomly going, you know, to happy hour or dinner or something, but I don't love that fragrance. But let me tell you something, whatever they did differently, or maybe it's just the wax itself, the candle is phenomenal, especially for the bedroom. I love this as a bedroom scent. It's so sexy. Oh, y'all. And it, to me, I get a grapefruit note in this. In the fragrance, I just get masculine, sweet. It's almost cheap to me. It's almost cheap to me. And I think that's what turns me off because I think the scent would be nice. I just think that it smells a little too synthetic or just cheap. It's just not well blended and made in my, in my opinion for me. Okay. For me, I do have it. I keep it in the car. I wear it every now and then, but it's just not given the candle though. They need to make this permanent if they have not already. This candle is phenomenal. I absolutely love this scent. And yeah, so I just had to mention it because I know so many people love the fragrance. So if you haven't tried the candle, please do because it's better. Okay, just to be honest, it's better. Another candle that I have been loving is from my girl Ashley's line. I, I love her, y'all. She is so cute. Um, I'll have her information down below. But these are Curo candles. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. And this is the Velvet Rose and Oud. Look at how much I've used of this. I've only had this probably a month and a half. This is high end. This is high end elegance, okay? This smells amazing. This is perfect for your living room. Love her packaging. You see that matte black on there? Really, really, really nice candle. It burns really nicely. Like this is just, you outdid yourself, sis. So now I have to order this again and I'm gonna try some of her other scents as well, but I really, really, really enjoy this candle. Again, this is Velvet Rose and Oud. Um, it's a luxury scented candle made in London and this is the eight ounce. I wish she made these larger. Um, she just started her candle line, I wanna say at the beginning of the year, or maybe late 2021 and she's doing really really well so i'm super proud of her and so happy for her but y'all it's the product for me because at the end of the day we can support people because we like them but when the product hits you come back for more right this product is everything like you really did you outdid yourself on this girl so definitely going to be getting more of these and yeah she's based in london so i love this so much okay y'all so this is my last little scent and this is actually a room spray from casa luna i got this at target and this is the tranquility um spray with lavender and chamomile and it helps you ease into sleep you guys know the chamomile and lavender is amazing for that so i love using this of course in my bed room but the scent of this is so good I accidentally got a little bit on my bed I have a uh, fabric bed now it's a Sherpa bed 
And y'all, this smelled so fresh and comforting. Now I use this as like a linen spray, okay? Because it's everything. Really soft, almost earthy. It smells like fl fresh flowers after the rain. Like, oh, when I tell you it is so relaxing, I live for this scent, okay, live. The bottle's really nice too, if you take off this packaging because it looks like um, like a frosted type of glass, it's really nice. Um, but I had to mention this because I just was like, once I got this on my white linens one day and I was laying in the bed, I'm like, wrap me in luxury, darling. All at Target, all at Target. I mean, not even expensive, probably five or six dollars too. So pick this up if you haven't already. You guys know I love Target's room sprays. Um, I forgot the other one I had, something in honey that's been long gone, but I need to go back and see what else they have because loving this. So here is another body care product that I've been loving, y'all. And this is the Chanel Le Lift, which is a hand cream. Now, I always love these little hand creams just because they looked cute. I ain't gonna lie, I thought they were cute, but I could not bring myself to buy something that I hated the smell of. So you would see a lot of these in the white um, when people would do like what's in my bag or you know, little Instagram aesthetic photos and I just smelled it I was like girl this is giving Chanel number five I absolutely would not be putting this on my hands because just because it looks cute right the black one this smells so nice and fresh it is the softest like rose scent and y'all more than anything this is amazing for your hands like it really does moisturize your hands i've been having this this is my second one i've had this for probably five or six months and i don't think i've ever mentioned this on my channel but it's everything you absolutely need this and if you hate the scent of chanel number no. five try this one in the black okay it's super cute Every time I pull it out, it's a conversational piece. Uh, everybody's like, what is this? How do you even open it? You know, really cute. But more than anything, it moisturizes my hands so well. I've even put it on my heels. You know, when your heels ain't giving and you got a little mule on, girl, you got to get that heel in order. This is really good. It really is. So it is kind of expensive. I think it's what, 30 maybe $60. I don't know. But it's good and it lasts a very long time. So Check this out if you haven't, I'll have it linked down below. So these last couple of items are pretty random. Uh, first, I wanna talk about a pair of shades that I have been loving and wearing and you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about these. These are so cute, they're dirty right now, but this is how they look on, they really match me today. Um, these are from Pretty Little Thing, okay? I've mentioned these a while ago, like in a Pretty Little Thing haul and I told y'all, y'all needed these because it was giving eyes through the lens which we love which always looks expensive and it's also giving gucci you know gucci does this brown like tortoise this light brown tortoise a lot so i don't know why y'all missed that or why y'all didn't get into um but because i've been wearing them a lot on instagram y'all have been asking about them and y'all pretty little thing probably like eight or nine dollars at most you need them. So if they're still available, I will definitely have them linked down below, but I've had these probably a year now. So yeah, I hope y'all can still get your hands on them because they are everything and they're super lightweight. That's one thing about like cheap glasses. You can hear it, but they're fire. Okay. They're fire. And I love lightweight sunglasses, especially when you wear wigs. Like sometimes it just be doing too much on the ears and then you put these big old glasses on. It's just a lot. These are like so perfect and I'll put them on again for y'all. Bomb, real bomb, okay, it's given. They look so expensive on, so yeah, I'll link these down below if they're still available, but I wanted to address it because I've received so many questions about these sunglasses and they're from Pretty Little Thing. You don't have to break the bank to look good. So last but not least, I wanna mention a Nespresso pod that I've been loving. So I have the Nespresso Virtual, I think it's called. And for a while, you could only get Nespresso pods for this particular machine that I have. I use these size pods, okay? 
not the like little small pods that look like little creamers or individual creamers. So those will come in like multiple different brands and different flavors. And I was so sad because I'm like, I really want to try some things other than Nespresso um, and buy things, you know, at other places other than Nespresso. I was browsing Amazon looking to re-up on my Nespresso pods and came across Starbucks Nespresso Virtual Pods, okay? So I got the Colombian, and y'all, when I tell you this coffee is so strong, I'm not even a Starbucks girl when it comes to hot coffee because I always feel like when I go get coffee at Starbucks, it tastes burnt. Um, this strong, this coffee is so strong. This coffee is so strong. I love it. If you need that pick me up, okay, this is good. This is the Colombian or Columbia roast is so good, y'all. So, so try this if you haven't. If you've been looking for different brands of pods to use in your Nespresso Virtual, Starbucks has them, and I've been getting mine from Amazon. I recently just put in an order for Pike's Place, so I'm excited to try that one because. I've never had that one before. This was my first time trying the Colombian and it's not too expensive either. I think it may be $40, but you get four boxes of eight. So a, a much better deal in my opinion than the Nespresso, actual Nespresso pods. And they have this, which is Colombia. They have Pike's Place. They have some blonde roast. Um, they also have some actual espressos too. So, you know, the smaller um, portions, but yeah. Been loving this and it's so convenient because I can just order on Amazon and it comes right to the mailbox. All right, y'all. So that is the end of my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I felt like I was really talkative today. So I appreciate you for sticking around this long. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out the links down below because everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down there. And if you're interested, that's where you're going to find those links. So thank you so much again for watching me and tuning in. As always, I appreciate appreciate you and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. All right, y'all. I just want to thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will have everything linked down below that I can find. Make sure to stay tuned for more videos and I will talk to you on my next one. Bye.